Hi everyone, um, I'm going to do a video today that I've wanted to do for a while and I just wanted to do it to help people out who are thinking of buying a gift for someone. Obviously there's a lot of Nespresso machines and coffee machines been sold recently because of what's happened with this Covid um, and if you're thinking of gift, giving a gift to someone who's bought one, how would you go about it and what, what are the right things to pick and what is right for your budget or the different gifts for different budgets. So let's start. I've got the two machines out today. I've got an original machine and the virtual machine out. So that's the first thing you need to know. If you're not, if you're not familiar with Nespresso, the first thing you need to know is that the machines are different. And they have, So if you're thinking of buying capsules as a gift, then the different shape and size capsules, if, and you can see they're completely different and they run on different machines. So you'd need to find out um, subtly. Obviously, you don't want to give the game away that you're gifting to them. But subtly try and find out which machine they have, whether it's through a relative or through some sly questioning. Um, and the second thing I would say, if you're thinking of buying capsules, again, some sly questioning to get the answer as to which ones they actually like would be good. Because if you've had an espresso machine for a while and you've tried the different capsules, you end up finding out very quickly which ones you like and which ones you don't. Um, so if you could maybe say to them on the phone, oh, uh, I bet you're enjoying your Nespresso machine recently, aren't you? Like, is, what, what capsules would you recommend for that? I was thinking of getting one. Then you can easily find out through a bit of questioning which capsules they like so that when you send them, they'll be happy with the ones they receive and won't be just going to waste. So that's the first thing we need to know. And um, Let's have a look now at some of the accessories that come from Nespresso because they're not the cheapest, are they, when you look at them, but they are quite good quality. And I thought if I was buying a gift for someone, I'd quite like to see them up close and just get an idea for um, how they look, actually, not just on a picture, but in real life. So the first thing I'm going to start with is just the cheapest things for any budget, really, and that is the chocolates and the biscuits. Now, I'm going to give you prices in pounds because I'm in the UK, but they will marry up pretty much, you know, if you're in America or you're in Australia, wherever you are, I'm pretty sure that they will still be the cheapest ones on the website and things to buy. So the chocolates are, are, are really nice. I've had them. I'm going to be unboxing them soon just for people who are, want to know whether they're individually wrapped and things like that. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. And the same with the biscuits. But they're priced at between six to seven pounds um, each. But if you're a, an expert member, you'll get 20% off pretty much all this stuff I'm going to show in this video. And um, so that's the first thing you can get. There's loads of different flavours. This particular one is chocolate biscuits with Sichuan pepper. And these are the blonde chocolates, but obviously they do milk and dark as well. I think they do milk anyway, but I, I'm pretty sure they do. So that's the first thing you can get. That's for the cheapest budget. And don't actually, there's something a bit cheaper than that, and that's sugar sticks. Now, in the UK, the price of those, the white ones are £4, um, and the brown ones are £5. But I haven't included them because one, I don't like to spend five pounds on sugar, so I don't have them. Um, but secondly, I, I, it's highly unlikely you're just going to send someone a box of sugar sticks as a gift, in it? But what I did think, I'd mention it, just so maybe if you're buying two of these, you could add that on for a bit of a novelty effect, you know, just to bulk your gift out a little bit and take it, take it to probably to about 20 pounds, won't it, or something like that. But you've got three items there that they're, they're going to enjoy and get a bit of novelty fun out of. So that's for the lowest budget range. I'll stick there for a minute with this next item. Let me just grab it. And I'm going to include these because they're on the website in the UK at the moment. The £9 are the morning syrups from Nespresso. Um, and you get three in a pack. So in this we've got vanilla, coconut and caramel. Um, and they're, they're nice little things to have, you know, you can make cocktails with them, you can add them onto the top of a latte macchiato to make it like a flavoured drink, uh, add them into, you know, any, any drink you make really, if you like that, if you've got a sweet tooth or your relative has a sweet tooth, then they might enjoy just having a bit of fun with these and for £9 it's a really good thing to have and again you could bundle it up with some of the cheaper things we've just mentioned a minute ago. And um, the reason I've included them, they are limited edition, but if you can't get them from Nespresso, then I know that these morning syrups, they're used in a lot of coffee shops and things like that. And I think Costa actually used them, and I know they've made miniatures in the past. So all I'm saying is if you can't get it from Nespresso, then perhaps you'll be able to get them from another coffee supplier um, or online. You know, just you'll be able to get hold of them somewhere. So that's £9. 
we're moving up the budget range again. So the next thing on the list, you might think this is boring as a gift, but it, if your friend likes to be tidy and likes to keep like keep a clean house, a tidy house, a bit of a clean freak, then a recycling bin could be a really good item to have. We've recently got this and my wife absolutely loves it. Um, and it, to be honest, it has solved a, a real issue for us. We keep ours under the sink now, whereas our capsules were in a recycling bag underneath the cupboard and they're in the way of everything. And now it just stores neatly away. The lid just comes off at the top. The bag just sits inside and you can tell how much coffee we drink. I've not even had it that long. Um, but it's £12. It's really good, well-made item, good functional gift. Um, again, maybe balance it out with some chocolates or something to make it a bit more fun. But it's a good item to have for £12. So moving up the budget range again, we've got the espresso cups. I'll just bring those over now. So this is the box, the pure espresso cups. And at, at this point, what I'll mention is that with all the Nespresso items, they're grouped into ranges of, like, different ranges. So this is the pure collection range. So you can get Espresso cups. These are £17 for a pair of cups and saucers. But if you wanted a Lungo cup, a bit bigger, or a Cappuccino cup, a bigger again, um, then they're £21. Um, and they're, they're part of the pure range. I'm going to show a few more items in a minute. One will be, will be from the view range. One of, and that's usually where you can see through the glasses, if you're buying glasses, or the dispenser, if you're buying a dispenser. Um, and, it, and then they have the origin range, which has been designed around the shape of a coffee bean, I think. Um, so they all, they're in these different ranges, and some relate just to Virtuo as well, and some relate just to Original. So again, it's important that you know what machine your relative or friend has. So there's £17. And the next thing on our list, what I'll just grab for you now, is a travel mug. Now, if your friend has just bought the Nespresso machine, this is a really handy item to have, especially at the minute with a lot of coffee places being shut. It's £18. Um, and it's, it sounds a lot for a travel mug, that. And I have reviewed, by the way, I've reviewed all of most of these items. I haven't got around to some of them yet, but most of them have been re reviewed on the channel. And I'll link to a playlist at the end with all the reviews of all these items and the unboxings on. So you can look at them a bit more in depth. But it doesn't leak. It's really like, it's almost like having a mini flask. It, like, it's so well made. It's so secure. The lid is really good quality. And I shake it around on the unboxing and review of it. Um, and nothing comes out of it at all, which can be rare from a coffee mug. Um, but a great gift to have. Everyone loves a travel mug, don't they? And, but a lot of people wouldn't think about spending £18 on themselves to get it. So I think a really good gift item, I think, a, a bit special. So what are we going on to next? The Origin Coffee Mugs. This is fantastic as a gift, I think, because one, because the box looks really good. It's a really nice shape. Um, and two... The design, everyone comments on the design of these mugs. Most, I've had a lot of people on the channel comment on how good the design is and how much they like it. It's got a little lip here to drink out of, but it's just, it's, it's, like I said, it's been designed around the shape of a coffee bean. And we can see that, can't we, just in this little curved effect here. Um, they are £28, those coffee mugs. Um, and again, they're not cheap. But the design, I wouldn't send them back. We love them. Um, you drink out of them every day, don't you? So it's worth, and you, I think, to be honest, if you bought those for someone, if you know that they like that kind of design, they'll probably love you for life for buying those for them. So that's the £28 Origin coffee mugs. Also, I'll just go drop it down, we'll just drop down a few pounds in budget while I'm showing you these, because when I said about ranges, this is the view range. Now, these are the recipe glasses. They're £19, um, and they also do like Lungo cups and Cappuccino cups and things like that in that way. The idea is you can see through and you can see the coffee. I've only just got some of these glasses, and I, I really like them. I find myself using them. You can make some really fancy drinks with them, um, but you might not think to buy them if, you, you know, if you've just got a machine. You might not even know they exist, so that's a good thing to buy. And they're £19. Moving along quickly now, aren't we? So the next thing we're going to go on to is dispensers. 
I've got a couple of dispensers myself. The first one, shall let you have a look at that, is the View Cube. I'll just get that opened up for you. See, again, view, the range view, you can see through it. Comes in a nice box. It's almost like it's in a gift box when you open it up. And um, what did we say this one was, sorry? £22, this one, the View Cube. It's just got a little lid on. You put all your ca keep all your capsules in. And then you can just put your hand in, get the capsule you want, put the lid down. It sits nicely on a worktop. Um, in fact, I'll just quickly throw a few capsules in so you can see it. You might think, do, do I need to spend £22 or something just to hold a few capsules? Just to give you a quick idea, you know, that's what it's going to look like with the capsules in. So it's quite a smart thing at £22. So that's the first dispenser we've got. There is a cheaper one available than that, and that's called the Bonnie Bear or, bon, bon or something like that. I can't even it. But it's £19 is that one, and it kind of... It sort of rocks around a little bit. So it sits on here and just moves around and keeps its own weight, I think. Um, I've never owned that one, but I, I might get hold of it in the future just to review on here. And then we move up to the Pure Rock dispenser from Nespresso. When I looked at this on the website the first time round, I was a bit unsure about it. I thought it might look a bit tacky when it came. Maybe you do think it looks tacky. I'm, you know, it's, it's all personal taste, isn't it? Um, but I really like it. It sort of sits there, you can move this about a little bit, it spins round, it's got a nice weighty heavy base. And the thing I like about it as well is it's got little rubber things on the bottom so it doesn't move around. Whereas if we compare that to the, the View Cube, which I've lost, but that one slides around a little bit, it doesn't have feet on it. Um, so I really like that. That one, the cost of that one is £29. Oh no, it's not, sorry. £27. £27. And I, I really like it more than I thought I would. When I ordered it, I was unsure. Uh, I think that's a really nice gift. It's got, you know, it could sit nicely in a kitchen, couldn't it? So we'll move this one over. That's the box for it there. And it shows you how it looks with a lot more capsules than I've put in it there. It holds, if you want to sit and know how many capsules it holds, I'm not going to go through everything on this video. Uh, it holds more than the View Cube. But check out our other videos on that playlist I said at the end to find out how many capsules it holds for both the virtual and for the original machine. So onwards and upwards again, you've got the View Discovery Box. Now I've only got, I'll show you it, I've got an old one for when I first got my Nespresso machine, about, I think it's about five years ago now, maybe longer. And it basically, it's a box that opens up and it has all the capsules on the inside so that people can choose their favorite one. When you've got friends around, that's a really handy thing to have. And I loved it. I loved using it for years, this. Um, but as you can see, like there's a new capsule range out now, Venezia, Napoli, and they're not on there. And the Darkham one's gone. So that's why I've ended up switching to something like this. But if they bring a new one out, with, by the time you watch this video, if there's a new one out with all this new range on it, then I'm sure someone would really like that as a gift because it's really good for when friends come round you can show off a little bit, open up your case, and they can pick the coffee they want. You can explain how Nespresso works. Um, and I just think it's a really nice item to have. However, they do become outdated when capsule ranges change. <clears throat> right. So the next thing we're going to go for is the Aeroccino. Now, that's a milk frother that Nespresso do. Um, and I've got one here. This is the Aeroccino 4. Now they do a, an Aeroccino 3, that's £50 on the website, they come in different colours, I think it's red, white and black, I think. This one is £60, it's just £10 more, and it has better settings on it, like it has an extra froth button, it has a froth button, uh, just sort of steamed milk, just hot milk, and it also has a cold milk button. Um, the Aeroccino 3 has two settings, it has a cold milk and it has froth milk, and it doesn't have a handle. And the, what I, the reason I've included this one is even if a person has bought a machine and it's come with a milk frother, it's usually an Aeroccino 3 milk frother that they get with the machines. So even if they've got a milk frother, you might still be able to get this to upgrade them again. Um, and they might can then sell the Aeroccino 3 on or whatever they want to do with it. But it's a really impressive bit of kit. It really, really improved my experience of frothing milk with my Nespresso machine. It makes a much warmer milk and it's worth the money. But, you know, we're getting up there now, aren't we, in the budget range? £60. Um, 
it's whether it, how much you wanted to spend. Is it a family or is it a close friend? You know, maybe you would like to treat them to this, the area, you know, for £60. And while we're on that, the last thing I'll mention is there's another version of this, an even bigger, like a better version, that's called the Barista Recipe Maker. Now that is £179. But it, it's been designed to sort of allow you to be able to do latte art and things like that. And I've seen things online where people put um, those chocolates I showed you at the beginning, they put those in, um, and they put it in with some milk and it can make, it has like a hot chocolate setting, I think, where it makes a hot chocolate. Um, and there's loads of other things you can do with it. Look, I'll be getting hold of that at some point and reviewing it on here. So subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see that. Um, but I've got a friend of the, I've got a family member, £179. Oh, how rich are you? <laughs> that could be the other thing. Um, but I think that's a really good gift to give. It'll be really impressive and I'm sure they'll enjoy that. And that's it, really, for now. I hope that you've enjoyed... Well, one last thing before we go. The capsules we mentioned earlier, if you're going to buy one, maybe, if you if you don't know exactly what um, capsules they like and you're, you're unable to find out, maybe go with, like, a limited edition one that's just out that they might not have or they might have never tried. Uh, this one's a caramel cookie. I'm not sure if that's limited edition or whether it's a, a new range that they're bringing out. Um, the, there was an old one, just caramel. This is caramel cookie. But they, have, they do bring them out from time to time, these limited edition capsules. So maybe that'll be a fun thing to tack on, even as just you know one or two packs of those with the rest of the gifts we've shown you. So I really do hope that that's been helpful for you. It's not an easy thing to figure out what to buy someone, especially when you don't know um, about Nespresso. Um, like the video, subscribe, make sure you don't miss our next ones. Hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any um, of our upcoming videos. And we've got more things to show you, more things to review. Thanks for watching this one. Bye for now.